what's up guys this is sunny back with another video today real quick uh, I'm making this video because basically this video been in my bucket list for a while and I feel like I should just make this video and share with you guys so today real quick I would like to show you guys how you can flash your AMD RX 5700 graphics card with the RX 5700 XT virus. Now this method is really simple. All you have to do basically download ATI flash and download the virus from tech power up. I'll show you guys real quick. You guys will see. Now before that, the card I'm going to use for this guide and basically I'll show you guys like side to side uh, 3D Mark 5 strike score so you guys will see uh, before flashing the card and after flash uh, what type of performance you get. Now everyone claiming that you get at least 10% of the performance so we'll see if we do get around 10% performance gain. Now the card I'll be using XFX RX 5700 dd ultra so this card is really good i've been using this card for my ryzen torch and for my gaming purpose this card performed really well it does come with dual fan and you guys can see the card is really thick with a big hit sync also does come with a uh, nice back plate so i really like this card now you can pick up this xfx rx 5700 uh, dd ultra card from amazon for around 329 dollar now i feel like for 329 dollar you really can go wrong i really like this card under full load the time seems really good so guys let's not waste any more time and let's just install this card flash the vials and then we'll compare side to side and see how this card performed with a stock rx 57 bias and also with uh, flash RX 5700 XT bias. So let's just jump in. All right, so first thing first, I wanna clear something. You guys know if you make mistake and if you don't follow this guide properly or something goes wrong while flashing the graphics card, you can break the card. So please do it at your own risk. I don't take any type of responsibility. If you make any mistake, it's all on you. Just make sure you know what you're doing before you start this process, all right? So just keep that in mind. First thing first, you need to back up your graphics card OEM stock BIOS, okay? Because in case anything goes wrong, you need to have your original vice. Now you can download this vice from maybe online, maybe tech power up, but sometimes if they don't have exact uh, model graphics card vice, then you will face a lot of problem. So please save the original vice. Now you can do this two way. You can either uh, open a GPU Z. All right, and then uh, click here, save uh, BIOS. Okay, save to file. Okay, and then you can just save it on your uh, document and you can just type here RX 5700 stock. So you know that's the uh, stock. Let's type here stock bias. Okay, so you remember. Okay, and then save it. Okay, done. All right, so simple as that. And you can also uh, back up the virus uh, using ATI Flash uh, 2.93 with the latest version. But even you back up your virus with uh, GPU Z, it should be fine. Just go to this website, Tech Power Up, and we need to uh, download uh, ATI Flash and also we'll download our graphics card uh, by so i have a xfx card i will download the xfx rx 5700 xt uh, vice so let's just search here ati flush oh all right never mind okay and download the latest version of amd ati a uh, flash uh, 2.93 because this version does support, uh, you guys can see here, RX 5700 uh, graphics card. So let's download this and we place this uh, on our desktops. So save desktop. We need to extract it. And also we need to download our graphics card virus we are going to flash. So let's go to uh, VGA virus collection on the under the data base tab 
you will see VGA Vice Collection. Click on that, and then a GPU brand AMD, and then card vendor. Because I have an XFX card now. If you have a different brand card, you can uh, pick the brand from here. So I'll just uh, pick uh, XFX and the card model RX 5700 XT. So there's like 12 files available for the RX 5700 uh, XT from XFX. So click on that. And you guys can see I did try a couple of these vibes from here. Now, what I'll basically do, I will just go with, um, uh, I'll just go with this one right here. So RX 5700 XT um, core 1400 and then memory 1750 and the boost 2150. Now I would recommend you guys uh, start with uh, the lower clock one because you don't know if your card can handle so always start with like the lower uh, clock All right, because I know this card will handle because I already tested this card. So I'll just download uh, this one right here. Okay, so click on that And download now or also place this on the desktop All right uh, now we are done. We can close the website. Uh, let's just uh, extract the ATA flush folder. Extract all. All right. We can just uh, delete the zip folder. We don't need anymore. Okay. Now I'll just place my ATA uh, folder in the local disk. So go to local disk C drive and then just place it here. All right, okay, so let's just rename the vice. So RX5700 XT. All right, and now we can open ATA flush and just uh, drag and drop the vice in the ATA flash folder. Okay, we can leave this folder open and you guys can see here flush RX 5700 uh, CMD. Let's open this uh, tasks. Okay, uh, I will have this command uh, in the video description so you guys can just copy and paste. All right, so now we need to open uh, terminal. Okay, so type CMD, right click, run as administrator. Yes command pump <laughs> all right and now what we can do basically just copy and paste so just copy the first line and then right click enter again the second line here because we need to unlock uh, the ROM so copy the second line and then right click paste enter should all right so rom unlocked okay and then the third line here so with this one basically we'll flush the card so again right click enter and now we are flashing our rx 5700 graphics card and we are flashing the rx 5700 xt bios to our rx 5700 all right we are done restart the system to complete Okay, so now we'll close everything here. All right. And let's just restart. And, uh, I know some of you guys will have a uh, question about uh, the memory type and stuff. So most of the XFX card comes with either uh, Samsung or Micron uh, memory. So you guys can see here auto detect. So if you have a Samsung memory or Micron memory, uh, basically the virus will automatically detect. So you don't have to worry about. It. Now, I did took a, a screenshot of uh, RX 5700 uh, GPU Z before. Now let's compare with the new virus, right? RX 5700 XT device. So as you guys can see side to side, left hand side, we have uh, our RX 5700 with the stock virus and right hand side we have 
RX 5700 with the XT bias. Now, if we look at the ropes, right? Uh, the ropes are uh, 64, 64, and TMU uh, S are 144, 144. So okay, uh, that didn't change. Now, if we look at the shutters, uh, uh, 2304. Uh, 2304 so same thing and if we look at the pixel fill rate okay so 112 we had with the rx 5700 stock bias and now if we look at the uh, rx 5700 xt bias it did go up to 123 uh, pixel fill rate so we did gain uh you know some here and if we look at the texture uh, fill rate uh, before we had with RX 5700 bias uh, 252 and now with RX 5700 XT bias it went up to 277. Uh, so everything else look uh, same here. Now if we go to uh, GPU clock before you had 1565 uh, uh, GPU clock and with the RX 5700 XT bias went up to 1670. Uh, the memory speed still same with the both bias 1750. If we look at the boost before we had 1750 with the RX 5700 bias and the boost did go up all the way up to 1925. So we did gain some uh, clock speed here. All right, now let's open the 3D Mark 5 strike score. All right, so let me just make it a little bigger. So as you guys can see, left hand side, we have our XFX RX 5700 with the XT BIOS. So you guys can see our uh, boost clock went up to uh, 1923 megahertz. And right hand side, we have our uh, RX 5700 with the stock BIOS. So you see here uh, 1868. Now, the total score was for the uh, RX 5700 XT bias uh, 21,182 and then right hand side with the RX 5700 uh, the score was uh, 20,371. Now if we look at the 3D Mark score here uh, we did gain plus 4% uh, and if we look at the graphics score we did uh, gain around plus 4.1%. Uh, physics score is kind of lower with the RX 5700 XT virus. So combined score you guys can see uh, we gain 8% uh, graphics test one we did gain a uh, plus 4.2% so you guys can see with the XT bars we got around 123 FPS and with the regular RX uh, 5700 virus was around 118 uh, graphics test 2 we got plus 3.9 percent so we got uh, 105 fps and then with the stock bias we had around uh, 101 so that's like around four to five uh, fps increase there now physics test uh, still with rx uh, 5700 xt bias um, like one percent uh, one fps lower and combined test we got, we got around 8% so you guys can see here 42.92 FPS versus uh, 39.74 FPS all right guys let me know what do you guys think because I feel like after flashing the virus this card performed really well and I think it was worth it now I would highly recommend if you're planning on flashing your RX 5700 graphics card and maybe go with the AIB aftermarket uh, RX 5700 with at least dual fan because if you have a blower style stock cooler and you flash your temperature will go all the way up to maybe 90 or even up to 100 because temperature will rise because of the clock speed the memory speed and everything now one more thing I want to clear yes if you flash this card with the RX 5700 XT virus it does work with a Mac so you don't have to do anything extra you can just if you have a RX 5700 a graphics card and you can flash RX 5700 XT BIOS and Mac OS will recognize this card but remember you do need Mac OS Catalina 10.15.1 let me know what you guys think and if you do like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up see you guys next one peace